dead babies can't take care of themselves. Dead babies can't take things off the shelf. Hello, I would like to introduce you to my new friend Colleen. Colleen is a purveyor of post-mortem photography. So you have just the most remarkable booth covered with pictures of dead people. <laughs> yes. How did you get into that? <laughs> um, I kind of have always loved photography, and then I started hearing rumors about people, that you know, people having take, these things, yeah. and I found one, and it was just kind of over after And that. you just fell in love and had I to did. search them out and find more. I did. And I found a few. You have, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, what probably are hundreds of pictures of Last little babies. Last count 1,200. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah. So maybe he, some people might think that's a problem. <laughs> Let's take a look well, at some of your. Well, of course, you've got your adults. These are You'd think that the adults <laughs> would be a more common than a baby. Yeah. But it's actually the opposite. Wow. Even though I have as many babies as I do. Wow. It was less common. The, this is a, a, I mean, the photography would be a new invention. Turn of the century. Yep. Oh, wow. And a lot and of times this was the only photo they would have. Wild. Do you know what people would do with them? Do they put them up in their homes? Yes. They oh would my put gosh. them up, uh, just, you know, hang in like a family portrait. Um, they would put them on postcards and send them out. Wow, like, you know, like, like a death announcement? Oh my yep, gosh. <laughs> they would. It, I found Morbid. Them, I found them with post, you know, stamps on it, letters written on the back of them. I wow. have one from Russia where there's a whole letter written in Russian on the back, but it's a very sad letter. It's wow. the husband blaming the wife for the child's death. Oh no. This is just like, just a, yeah, such a intimate Some of them, moment in people's lives. Yeah. Yeah, How exactly. about, then, I mean, there are one babies, 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 babies. They call Look them Sleeping this. Beauties. Oh, my gosh. This one is actually hand-painted. Wow. Which you don't find a lot of them, but... I, I mean, the point is to get right? the detail of the individual person that mm -hmm. has passed on here. Yeah. They are eerie. I mean, they really are, I, I don't know, lifelike. Death-like. <laughs> well, it, it's even worse when their eyes are open. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, that's crazy. And this one is actually in an old frame. That's tinted. This one would be more like probably 1900s. Not as wow. old. Wow! Everything as about old, yeah. that is just got the bubble glass and all that stuff and the tinting. And so. In your daily life at your home, is this how your home is decorated? Wow. I have hundreds of these on the walls. <laughs> oh I my have gosh. <laughs> coffin tables, coffin stands. Really? Headstones. You've been you've been into the the darker side of things your whole life, I'm gonna go out and guess. Yeah, <laughs> probably. You, you know, love that. I always loved Morticia Adams, of course. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> A role model. And now yeah. this, uh, it is Halloween season. Mm -hmm. That is when the veil between the living and the dead is the most permeable. So they say. It's so they say. becoming <laughs> a bigger and bigger holiday. So do you yeah. go around and do it's events really cool. like this? And you must be meeting people who are interested in kind of the same oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I only, I don't do a lot of these conventions, but I do this one every year. And this is uh, a really neat It's only the people. second year that I've actually brought the postmortem. They're gorgeous. I mean, they're yeah. very eye-catching. They are. You know, I have people come into my house, they don't really, you know, look right away. Oh. But uh, you can kind of see the look on their face when they realize. <laughs> <laughs> All these pictures. You know, are suddenly, I, you know what? It's time for me to go, <laughs> type thing. Like, well, I love it was it. nice meeting you. I'll probably never see you again. Or <laughs> people like us who are like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I'd like to get to know you a little exactly, better. Exactly. <laughs> They're very aesthetic. much art. Yeah. To me, well, to me, intimate. They are. I, you if know, you really look at them with the flowers and. Wow. Yeah. Some of the photographers would be artsy with the photos. Wow. Sometimes it, they would, you know, make them look alive or try to paint their that's eyes so on. Oh, crazy. Prop them up in a chair. Oh, they could whoa. even stand them up. Whoa. And they did. I know. I know. <laughs> it's. And somebody somewhere is dying to have that hanging in their living room. That'd be me. <laughs> wow. That'd well. be me. <laughs>